Welcome to Toffee TV. It's my three things from Brighton 3 out of the two. Um, overall, overriding feeling is one of disappointments again. Um, you know, we played, we were so bright and fresh in attacking last week. Uh, manager kept the same team. Uh, you know, apart from Yeri Mina, who's, who, you know, uh, was our, has been our best player this season, so obviously we were going to miss him. And we've ended up throwing a game away that we should have we should have won. We were in a position to win the game and it's not happened and it's frustrating. So the first thing I want to talk about is our mental strength, I suppose. Um, it just seems like we haven't got any. It seems like the minute something goes against us, there's no resilience there from the team. Now, we conceded the goal from a free kick. Well, it's by Pascal Gross. It's it tremendously well, but the goalkeeper, in my opinion, should have done better. The fortunate thing for us was that we equalised within a couple of minutes. Um, and that then we were able to just pick ourselves up. But the minute that penalty went in to go 2-2, there was an air of inevitability about us losing the game. Now, I, I, when I'm talking about mental strength, on our on our travels, that should be displayed from the first whistle. That should be we keep doing we, what we're doing. If we go behind, so be it. It's a game of football, but you know it can happen. You've got to continue to do the right things. I I don't understand how we can't play the same ways we do at Goodison Park with the same players. Last week we flew forward. We were incisive with our passing. We were on the front foot, and I know a lot of teams do this away from home, but. That, to me, separates the really good sides from the average sides from the poor sides. You know, we've seen Leicester City last week. Now, I've criticised Leicester, not criticised them, but I haven't bought into the hype with Leicester City that some people have. However, what I would say is, last night, they were absolutely marvellous. They've gone away to Southampton. Tough game. You know, could be a tricky game. They've all right, they've scored a goal and Southampton being reduced to 10 men, but they just continue to hammer them and hammer it and hammer it. And they win 9 0. You know, an incredible result. Um, and they've had mental strength all season. They've been really good all season. So fair play to them, you know. And they, they look at the moment the best of the rest after City and um, City and Liverpool. But it's that mental strength to, to be able to play your own game wherever you go. And I just don't think Everton do that. And I don't know whether it comes from the manners yet or whether it's the players. I don't know, or a bit of both, but whatever it is, we've had this problem for a few years now. Our away form has been shocking. And it is a case for me of, I don't know how you instill that in a team. Because the minute anything goes against us, we crumble. Is it leaders? I don't know, maybe. But as a team, how are we, how are we so easy to beat? Because we are. We're very, very easy to beat. We're not getting battered by teams. But we're losing games. And that, to me, we're losing. We've, we've played Palace. We've played Villa. We've played Sheffield United, Bournemouth. We've played Burnley. We've played Brighton. You know, and the only one we haven't lost out of all them is Crystal Palace. If we've got a month soon coming up where we've got Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, United, City. And yet we can't compete with these other teams. It's It's... Something has got to change. I don't know how you do it, but something's got to change. Secondly, I want to talk about Jordan Pickford because he, the dip has happened again with him today. For me, that first goal is atrocious from him. England's number one. He gets a good sight on it. It goes through his fingers. Just really, for me, we need him in big moments. We've, you see, we've seen him make. Brilliant saves, absolutely incredible saves. He made a brilliant one last week against West Ham, but today, I don't know, just something about that first goal. I, just, I don't know, it just he frustrates me, Jordan, because I think he's got everything to be one of the top keepers in Europe, in my opinion. But just little things like that today. They're the big moments you need to keep it to pull you out of trouble. We see Matt Ryan in the first half make it, um, I think it was, was it a Wobie? I did to cross it hit someone and he's down sharp and he makes a save and he you know, if it had gone in, you couldn't have blamed him. It happened that quickly. But there are moments when you make big saves and it gives your team um keeps your team in the game. And we've had them for Jordan Pickford, we've had some big moments, but times like today where it's gone through him, I just wonder about 
what his concentration is. Or to me, he sh if the ball went through the middle of the ball. He shouldn't be getting beef from there. It was well hit, but come on, he'll save harder shots than that in training. So that to me was is frustrating today from from Jordan. I don't think he was at his best at all. Um, and the third thing, the third person I have to talk about really for me was Michael Keane, who is the senior of the two centre backs today with him and Mason Holgate. And I thought he just looked. I'm not blaming him for the penalty. The penalty you can it's by the by. That's something that uh, that you know the referee didn't give. So normally. You know, you'd get away with that, wouldn't you? He's looking at the ball. It's, it's. He catches the lap, but they're looking at the ball. So is it a foul? If you, if there's contact made when you're watching a ball, do you know what I mean? So, I'm not talking about that, but I'm just talking about his general demeanour, his general play. Now, I, I defended him all last season because I thought he had a good season, and I think he's a good defend. You know, he's a decent defender. But today, I'm just lately, he's having. You can tell he's having to think about everything he does instead of just. When he was on form last season, he just went out and defended and he just played the game and he was looking good. He was solid. You know, no one really, you know, got anywhere with him. He made a brilliant challenge against Salah when it was a certain goal in the nil-nil at Goulderson and things like that. He made some key moments last season, but this season, he just looks off it. And it's been since that England game, not the last one in which he didn't have a great game, the break before, when he gave the goal away. And even though... He set a goal up immediately. It's all, it's like, it seems, I don't know him, so I don't know, but it seems like he's just not got over it. And his form is causing issues, I think, in that back four as well, because he should be like a leader for us. Um, and another one today who I thought was really poor was Andre Gomez, who, who was marvellous last week. But I thought today, just looked off it. You know, a lot of them, to be fair, looked off it today. But they're the three things from today. I don't really know what else to say. So check out the Matsy actions and uh, have a great weekend. See you later.